Hey everybody. So for this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the thalamus, the hypothalamus, and the epithalamus. So these are all going to be inner, uh, parts of the brain that are going to have very specific roles and important for how the brain is going to process information. We can begin with the thalamus. Uh, the thalamus is going to consist of two oval masses of gray matter, right? And they're going to be located underneath each of the cerebral hemispheres. That said, the primary function of the thalamus is that it is known as the gateway to the cerebral cortex, meaning that any kind of sensory information that's coming in through the body, so whether it be taste, touch, sight, all of these things are going to first go to the gateway here, the thalamus. From here, the thalamus is going to direct that information to the correct part of the cerebrum to make sure that it goes to the right location. So with that said, one example of this would be, like I said, any of the stimuli, uh, except for olfactory, everything but smell are going to be important for this. So that said, I think of it kind of like the USPS so of the brain. So in other words, information is going to come into the station, kind of like the mail station. And then from there, we can send it out to the correct locations, right? So if we need to go to the frontal cortex, if we have to go to the occipital cortex, wherever it has to go, it'll be sent through the thalamus. Next is the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus main, main function is that it's going to be the major control center for the autonomic nervous system. So the stuff you don't really think about. And the best way to remember this is the endocrine and homeostasis. Endocrine, another word for endocrine system, are the hormones. So this is hormones and homeostasis. All right. If you look down here, it talks about some of the major things that we need in order to maintain homeostasis in the body. And those include water intake. So your thirst, thermal regulation, make sure your body temperature is the right, is, is correct, maintains homeostasis, cardiovascular regulation. So your heartbeat, blood pressure, vasoconstriction, dilation, as well as your circadian rhythms. So sleep, wake, and different types of emotions. Last on here is the epithalamus, and this is a cone-shaped gland that's best known for synthesizing melatonin from serotonin, and this one's most importantly known for the circadian, maintaining circadian rhythms within the body. So with that said, this is brief, however, it gets the point across about the thalamus, hypothalamus, and epithalamus. If you have any questions on these structures, please let me know.